morning guys so um it's wednesday and <clears throat> i have a lecture um at the history faculty it's going to be on um co-option and conflict so basically for uh, on the imperial scramble for africa and how we can analyze this um in an afrocentric kind of theme um and then after that i need to go and see the accommodation officer because they didn't email me about like accommodation and stuff so i currently don't have any accommodation for next year which is a bit annoying so that's something that i need to go and handle um and then after that i'm probably going to go to the bodleian uh to go and like study for a bit maybe until like 10 um but i'll probably like take a nap around maybe two um so yeah i don't know if i'll be able to like take you guys to the lecture with me but you know we'll see <sighs> All right, so I'm currently back in my room. Um, it's one, what's the time? I can't, I don't know what my phone is. Um, I think it's like one o'clock. Uh, I went to my lecture, the lecture was really interesting. It kind of clarified a lot of things that were on the reading list um, and like just gave like a generic structure to the discussion that we're gonna be having in class tomorrow. Um, so yeah i actually don't have a lot on today um i mean as a history student this is very very um expected but yeah i don't have a lot on today um i'm literally just gonna go and study and read my essay is due in on sunday i really want to get it done for saturday um today's wednesday so if i read for like wednesday thursday and friday and then write it on saturday i should be good so yeah um that's it so I'm going to go and take my nap and then when I wake up, I'll be heading off to the library. There's currently nobody in the library right now. The lights are off. I think it's currently... Uh, oh. I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's basically like... Yeah, it's 3.43. Um, nearly four yeah i feel like i haven't i've got a lot done but at the same time in terms like in terms of like um concept wise i've got a lot done but content wise i haven't if that makes sense i still have a lot to read um but i've lived like maybe like three things in depth which i'm happy with i mean out of 26 i still have a lot of, like a long way to go but again i'm gonna try and hand it in for saturday tomorrow's thursday um yeah so it's gonna be a real like tight squeeze but yeah i'm gonna go to my room now and um sleep because i'm tired as hell okay bye guys see you in the morning the library last night quite late and I was quite tired. I got about five hours of sleep. But I think it should be okay. like I'm fine. I'm not like particularly like, drained. Um so yeah I'm just trying to get to this class. <laughs> um it should be good because the reading I did yesterday I feel like is substantial enough enough to me to make a contribution. Usually sometimes when I don't do the reading before the class because my essays are due on the monday the classes are on the thursday the week before um, i'm still able to make a contribution but just by um like intellectual deduction and like kind of just feeling what's going on in the room but uh yeah i'll see you guys Bye. hey guys so i'm currently back in my room i don't know turn it down i don't know why i was screaming um so essentially the dinner the halfway haul that i have today um, I couldn't go to the one at Pembroke mostly because I had an essay due and um, I was tired. I'd just come back from London. I didn't want to like get ready in a rush and then look horrible in photos and then like completely regret it. So I'm going to a halfway hall at Unev. Um, um, my friend Ruth is there so I'm coming as her guest. Uh, so it's at 6. So essentially... Um, People need to be seated at 7.15 um, and drinks and photos start at 6.15. Um, but the problem, I would obviously get ready closer to 6. But the problem that I have is I have I currently have my tutorial at 3. Um, 
over the African Institute um, or Centre, which is like a 15 minute bike journey from here. Um, and then I have my French lesson um, at five. So my tutorial is 3.15 to 4.15. Um, so it really doesn't make sense. Oh, and my French my French lesson is at, um, is at the Woodstock Centre, which is literally five minutes away from the African Institute. Uh, not Woodstock Centre, the Language Centre, which is five minutes away from the Language Institute. So it's, it makes sense for me to do my makeup now, get ready now, um, and then like put any like clothes that I need to bring for the night in my bag. Um, and then obviously leave um, to go to Ruth's room after French. Um, it just makes more sense and it's more practical. Oh, Jesus. And it's more like practical. So, oh my God. So right now I'm going just going to go and do my makeup and... Um, yeah, bye. <laughs> So for the planning and the writing portion of my essay, I decided to switch locations to my room, mostly because I often find a change of scenery, especially when I'm writing essays, really helps me to develop and generate new ideas that are needed for the writing portion. <laughs> Morning guys, so today is Friday, um, so there's been like a huge jump from the last time I was on the vlog, mostly because um, Wednesday and Thursday were kind of like chaotic and hectic at the same time, um, so Wednesday I, I, lost, I lost my library card which kind of seemed very very like minimal but like I couldn't get into the library and then I couldn't do my work and then I just gave up on the whole thing so I was just like I, could, I don't care anymore and then on Thursday um I did do some work um but yeah it wasn't as substantial as I wanted it to be so today I need to get my grind in I need to do like quite a lot of work um but I feel like it should be okay because a lot of the um foundational understanding is there and like how the way that i want to phrase my um my argument and my examples i kind of already have it in my head so um i'm able to kind of minimize the amount of reading that i need to do and focus on um, specific areas so um now i'm gonna go to the library uh yeah i'm literally gonna be in the library from 12 30 till 9 30 p.m mostly because i just want to get this essay done the reading i'm gonna like do the final writing part tomorrow and yeah <laughs> okay see you guys in the library so right now i'm just packing my bag fitting in my pencil case my laptop my um book stand mostly because i don't study in my room and i don't want to come back to my room until the end of the day so i'm just making sure that i have everything that i need Okay, so, sorry for the poor light. Oh, okay, great. Um, so, <laughs> one thing today, right? My mom bought me these shoes and I haven't wore these shoes. They're like, what, what are they called? Broke? <laughs> Bro guess? I don't know what they're called, but I haven't worn these since I was like 16 and she bought me these and I don't know how they look with the, out with the outfit. I feel like I'm in a private school, a private boarding school and I'm wearing their uniform. But yeah, I really hope like, it doesn't look weird. <laughs> anyway, ciao. Oh, I need to actually go and make my lunch, so. So for this essay, I decided to go to the Bodleian. Um, I don't usually go to the Bodleian. I usually have a study room that I go to 
or I go to Pembroke Library, which is also quite rare. Um, but I found that, again, changing locations every week for different essays is also quite helpful in terms of productivity. whilst I eat and I'm gonna try and formulate an essay plan tonight hopefully um and yeah I feel like I'm not really hungry I'm just kind of eating so I won't be ravenous in the morning because that's when I overeat in the morning and then like I feel like really sluggish the whole day so <clears throat> I'm making pasta as I've said before it's um pesto pasta it's nothing really special it's literally like pesto um even though i should be eating this because it has like um what is it called again granado granapan 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 okay well not i'm gonna ignore that um <laughs> it has cheese in it but i think it's like a very very minimal a minimal amount um and then i like, literally just season it with like garlic and onion um but before i do that i actually chop up some um onions like into circles and then like i saute them and i also add spinach so i uh, most most of the time the pasta that i make is plant-based i don't really add meat to my pasta if i am going to add meat or like any type of animal product um it's probably like prawns or like a type of fish so yeah that's literally it and that fills me up so good to go hey guys so it's pretty late in the evening i got up quite late oh, sorry about that um because i just wanted to um <laughs> the majority of my work has been done but there's still like bits and bobs that i'm going to kind of just leave until the vacation right now i'm just kind of focused on getting everything sorted so i can leave for tomorrow because i'm leaving around 8 p.m yeah so i need to i've already kind of started packing so it should be fine now i'm going to my french class which surprise surprise i'm late for <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna go to that and then i'm gonna go and shop at tesco for a bit because i don't have anything to eat and i don't want to eat pasta i've been eating pasta for the past like six days so yeah and then um i have to i'm gonna go to the ashida um choir thing tonight's acs well it's not really acs it's kind of like a um an acs affiliated society so yeah it should be good bye One, two, three, four. um yeah a lot of us grew up in the household and when we turn up these are the songs that we sang so we wanted to give you an insight into how we grew up Thank you.